Hi everybody, today at KD Cuts we're embarking on a multi-part video series on construction of Tandy's Bison Postal Bag. Here's the kit. A couple of years ago I did a YouTube review on the bag after I put it together. I'll say now what I said then, the kit's very well designed, very well done. You won't be disappointed if you decide to buy the kit. But over the last couple of years, I've gotten lots of questions about construction of the kit. So I figured it was high time to go ahead and do a series and step through construction of the kit and show you some tricks and tips that should certainly help you and make things a little easier. So let's go ahead and open the kit and get started. Hi everybody, today at KD Cuts we're embarking on a multi-part video series on construction of Tandy's Bison Postal Bag. Here's the kit. A couple of years ago I did a YouTube review on the bag after I put it together. I'll say now what I said then, the kit's very well designed, very well done. You won't be disappointed if you decide to buy the kit. But over the last couple of years, I've gotten lots of questions about construction of the kit. So I figured it was high time to go ahead and do a series and step through construction of the kit and show you some tricks and tips that should certainly help you and make things a little easier. So let's go ahead and open the kit and get started. All right, so I've opened up the kit and I've segregated out the cowhide parts first. So let's take a look at them. Now, all I'm going to do is some edge creasing and my maker's mark. That's all the pre-assembly tooling I'm going to do. So you have to decide. There's my Tandy creaser tool that I use to crease with. So you have to decide if you're going to do any tooling before you assemble a kit. Now you notice I dead-ended my creases. That's just my preference. And then there is no creasing in this strap because that's the invisible reinforcing strap for the handle. Now the other thing you need to decide is if you're going to burnish the edges of the cowhide pieces. So make that decision. I am not. Uh, I like the look, the, um, the rough look, the unfinished look, but you do whatever you think will work for your project. Now let's look at the bison pieces in the kit. These are the four pieces that comprise the gusset. Easy enough. Here's the front pocket with the two cutouts that you're going to make a dart with in the final design. There's the front cover. You can see the top where the handle and the shoulder strap gets attached. And then the bottom where the front flap closure is attached. Now next to the rest of the body pieces. And you'll see the one with the two holes in the back. That's the very back piece. Okay. And then the two other panels. And here's the hardware. I've already opened up some of the hardware. Okay, everybody. So that concludes part one in our series of how to put together the Tandy Bison mail bag. In part two, I'll get into the instructions in detail. So if you found this interesting, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks. See you soon.